I think the problem uh, with Boko Haram uh, has to start with why Nigeria? Why did Boko Haram choose Nigeria? Uh, and we have to, in answering this question, we have to recognize um, the endemic uh, social, political, and economic conditions of Nigeria. Um, we also have to recognize the, uh, the, the, the tension between uh, Muslims and Christians, which has been existing uh, for so many years uh, in Nigeria. And to substantiate this, uh, one will have to look back at the 1980s when the so-called Maitasin uh, movement, a very radical form of uh, Islam, um, uh, emerged in Nigeria in which uh, they were organizing various violent riots in which in one incident in December 1980, over 4,000 people died. And since then, we've continued to have, to have uh, various violent uh, religious uh, riots in Nigeria, uh, which uh, have killed thousands and thousands of people. So this is, for me, the, the presage to a group such as Boko Haram, which, for me, epitomizes the whole uh, uh, tension, the whole conflict between Christians and Muslims in Nigeria. Uh, Boko Haram uh, is started off as a Nigerian problem, uh, but it actually got its impetus from global and regional circumstances. The existence of Al Qaeda, the existence of Al Qaeda in the land of Islamic Maghreb, and other terrorist groups in Africa, such as Al Shabaab such as uh, the movement for uh, unity and jihad in West Africa, such as Ansar Din, such as even the movement uh, for the emancipation of the Niger Delta, which is another Nigerian uh, domestic uh, terrorist group that terrorized Nigerians between 2006 and 2009. So one has to look at Boko Haram from this perspective. And then to ask the question whether an international or a multinational joint tax force, which is being talked about as a panacea to the Boko Haram problem, will it really provide a lasting solution? One is forced to say this is not something that will happen overnight because of the complexity of the Boko Haram problem. First, this will be a force that will be made up of countries in the region. These are the some countries that have allowed Boko Haram to grow to the extent in which it is today. These are the same countries that have been suspicious of one another. So we don't have proof yet that the force will be free of this mistrust, of these suspicions, which have killed regional cooperation in the region and has given force to groups such as Boko Haram. Nonetheless, if the group, if the multinational joint tax force rise to the tax, which means we have the uh, adequate level of force, because in my view, the 8,700 uh, soldiers that have so far been pledged is still very much insufficient to deal with the Boko Haram problem, simply because we are dealing with a territory that is vast, often compared to the size of Belgium or the size of Rwanda in Africa. And to talk of 8,000 troops, 8,700 troops protecting such a vast territory, one will only have to be realistic to say it is a pinch of salt. We are therefore recommending that this force be reviewed. And in my view, I would prefer that it should be a much more diverse force, a force bringing experience from other African countries, not limited to the region. With this, I think we might be able to make inroad into the Boko Haram problem. 
That will only depend if such a force is well trained, is well equipped. Because we must not forget the fact that these countries have no experience, no previous experience in fighting terrorism. And if this force is going to act as a traditional peacekeeping force, their chances of winning are slim. So therefore, this force must be retaught, it must be designed to combat terrorism and notify rebellion, the traditional rebellion that we know in Africa. If we can address the shortcomings of this force, the fact that it is limited only to countries in the region that have no prior experience, and the fact that it is, in my view, too small to protect 12 million civilians in northeastern Nigeria. It is too small to protect a territory that is as vast as uh, Rwanda or as Belgium, a territory which, is, uh, which has very harsh terrain, a territory which is a forest where we have very uh, scanty population. I think that uh, the force could make important inroad into defeating Boko Haram. Uh, and I will suggest that the African Union um, review this force. And once it is deployed on the ground, that there should be a constant review of uh, uh, the realities on the ground, the challenges that the force is facing, and some of its strength, where to strengthen it.